Welcome back friends, uh, in this class we are going to discuss about jQuery effects. So in our last classes we have uh, discussed about jQuery events like uh, mouse event, keyboard event. So in this class we will discuss about jQuery effect, this one. So go to Notepad++ and you can just uh, see this uh, jQuery effect. I have just written the title and you can just uh, remove this from here and from style tag also from body tag also the first uh, we are going to create a button inside the body tag b u double t o n button start and button close uh, you can write a text here for example for example click to hide the text information click to hide the information inside the button you can assign a class or id both of them uh, i'm just assigning id here equal sign double quotation so i'm just giving p u t double t one it means button one the name so just copy this control c and come here inside uh, your script tag uh, just insert here the basic syntax of jquery by inserting a dollar sign semicolon here document and ready and function should run from here make sure the color is just uh, blue and inside the curly braces you are going to insert another dollar sign with round bracket fully stop again round bracket and just a semicolon here uh, you can just use single quotation or double quotation uh, for selecting id we are using hash and b u double t one is the name of button so when someone click on this button we are using click event and just this function should be run function and just uh, again curly braces so again dollar sign and you need to just insert uh, parentheses dot again parentheses semicolon just come back uh, inside your body area and uh, this time we are using a div tag here the start and div close inside this div tag you are just writing here hey guys hey guys uh, this is some information uh, about jQuery effect and inside this div you are going to create uh, just hide your class you can create both of them i'm just creating class and you can say the name is e double f e c t effect one so you can just copy this Control c and just come here use a single quotation for class uh, we are using dot and after that you know you can paste that effect one so you can hide this one can just use hide effect here control s to save just come here launch in chrome and you can just uh, zoom this from here here is some just uh, some text spelling mistake and you can just click on this button click to hide again refresh click to hide so by just clicking on this button you can just uh, hide the information uh, it does not make any changes you, how much text you are inserting here you can just insert a lot of text here in your web page just by one click you can hide the text so just come back here and you can just check the spelling Control s and now from here i'm just saying uh, first effect first e double f e c effect start 
can copy this control C and paste here control V you need to just uh, copy this two line not this one line this two line by pressing control C and after this command line control V so this second effect second effect start first effect start here second start start here so just come inside the body by pressing control plus D to get this button so this so time click to show the information and this button should be button number two so you are just writing here button number two and uh, just control s to save come back and refresh now you can see we have two buttons click to hide the information click to show the information so why it is not working and when someone click on this button it means button number two and uh, this time this should be show not hide control s can come back and refresh click to hide click to show click to hide click to show so we have two button by just clicking on this button you can hide the information by clicking on this button you can show the information so we are just going to uh, just copy this control C and you can just come here and paste and third third effect start so this should be button number three and uh, you can just duplicate one more time by pressing ctrl d this button should be button number three click to show and hide the information and here you are just using toggle t o d d l e toggle control s now come back here and refresh so you can see we have three button click to hide click to show click to show and hide why well, just this button is working for both for hiding information for showing information for that we are using toggle effect you can see here toggle and we have some more uh, here uh, i'm just going to use here inside the first effect instead of hide we can use light up make sure the u should be capital control s to save now come here and refresh just click on this button so you can you can see it is just sliding up or moving up once again and instead of this show you are just going to use slide down slide down make sure that d should be kept at this d control s and refresh slide and refresh slide up slide down slide up slide down or move up move down so the same way you can just use here instead of toggle you can use slide toggle s l i d e slide t o d g l e control s come back here and refresh slide up slide down slide up and slide down so we have just used the uh, sixth effect number one was height that we have used here uh, i'm just uh, saying here height and uh, you can say slide up slide up it was for number one number two it was show and uh, you can say slide down it was for number two for number third we had uh, we have uh, toggle or uh, slide toggle G -O -G -L -E. and the rule for using this uh, first word first letter should be in small letter or a single and the second word first letter should be in capital you can see slide toggle s is small uh, but t is in capital letter the same as s for slide down is small and t is capital and s for slide up is small u is in capital so this term 
so this was just some basic effect uh, that we have used and learned in this class so for this video it's enough just uh, watch the video and do practice uh, till next class have a nice time and see you